and welcome to a brand new episode of Black, White, Red All Over. I'm Victor Dandridge. Brian Seymour. <laughs> <laughs> we're using external mics. So cool. Yeah, we're using so. far away mics. Yeah. Far away from the future. Brian Seymour! <laughs> <laughs> Saber Tooth Tiger! Like, that was so amazing. <laughs> Obviously, we're having a good time today. We're feeling good. Um, thank you guys for the suggestions. Yes, we actually took on some of them. Quite a few this which week. Which was good. Yeah, which, I mean, we needed you guys. There was yeah. some things. You will notice, though, that we have a Marvel-less yeah. week this time. No, no this. Just yep. trying something. You know. Yep. So what do we have that is the same, sir? The same we've got ROM, mm -hmm. we've got Detective. Yes. Parted ways with Hellblazer. Ooh. For me. Yeah, I did Invincible. Yeah. Where would you like to go? Let's go Invincible since the announcement was made about the ticking clock. Oh my god! Almost over. Come on, Bobby K. You know I need this series and you're gonna take it away from me. Oh, that's so messed up, man. So messed up. We are on the countdown. What is yeah. it? 13 issues now? Yeah. Till it's yeah. till Invincible is no more. Like looking at a year, and then it's no it's more. A, it's been a heck of a run. I mean, it has. How do you get off that train? I mean, can you imagine what he's got lined up for the end? Right. Oh, right. Yeah. I know. So, okay, let me get on this one. So, Corey Walker is still on board with this particular arc, and it looks like we're setting up for a big end game here. I mean, uh, as far as I understand, his run on this one is ending with 133. I believe so, yeah. So we still have three more issues left of Corey, which is great. Had the founder in it, and then we get that last bit of pure Ryan goodness. Um, this one was kind of a quiet issue. Like, not a lot happens, but it's setting up stuff that's it's gonna punch people in the face. It's got lots of face punches, and mm, I love it. Like, I, I'm already feeling emotional about this book not being here. All right. I love it so much. That's okay. It's okay. It's a good one. Though. Definitely pick this one up. Uh, if you've been a fan, if you're just now getting on, uh, I think this last year's worth of stuff is definitely, you know, yeah. a, a nice jump on point. It's cool stuff to read, yeah. and you'll see some great superhero action. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, what did you read? Hellblazer? Hellblazer. Ooh. DC Comics. Oliver's writing it. Yeah. Uh, it picks up giving a little bit of explanation of what happened in the one shot that kicked off Hellblazer okay. for okay. Reaper. Um, uh, Constantine is... is tricking his way back into London and kind of explains how he's able to backdoor everything. Okay. And there's this fantastic interaction between Swamp Thing and Constantine where Swamp Thing is demanding a favor be paid back. Right. John has a way of Constantining it. <laughs> and there's how to how to put it without spoiling it and staying safe for right. younger. Oh, 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 that bad, huh? There John and uh, and Swamp Thing at one point may have not been in the same bodies. Gotcha. For purposes that are very icky. Ew. But I got you. Yeah. Okay. So I highly recommend this. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, it's, 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 toned, it's toned down from the vertigo, but it still yeah. maintains that edge. It's, it's actually pretty funny. So. Oh, man. So is this a book for Arbor Day? Is that what you're, is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm just saying? Yeah? <laughs> yeah. For those that celebrate, Think about it. Think about it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, so, <laughs> man, I'm trying to keep a straight face. I can't do yeah. it. I can't do it. Rom. Yes. Number two. Yes. Now, we got some criticisms from somebody on the first issue yeah. saying that they weren't feeling this at all. Yeah. I don't know, man. I mean, I'm not one to dispel our, our, our viewership, yeah. but I'm digging this. Yeah. It is art. It's opinion. Yes. But this one... Or the first issue, maybe there was knock that they were trying to reacclimate and refamiliarize people with, right. with the mythos. This one doesn't have that burden. It is going right into go. action. Just go. Yeah. It's building. Um, I'm feeling like there's a lot more fleshed out action with this. Yeah. Like this is it's it's beautiful artwork, beautiful yeah. writing, and it's it's making a bigger world yeah. take place. That splash page. Oh man. Yeah. That is so yeah. good. And they, and they expand on the Wraith's powers. Yes. Like, it's not, yeah, no spoilers. But right. it, it, it creates an environment that makes what Marvel did with Secret, uh, Secret Wars. Mm -hmm. or not Secret mm -hmm. Wars, sorry. The, 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 the one where the, the scrolls were just switching people. Secret mind. Invasion. Secret, Secret invasion. invasion. That's what it is. Make that look like clown shoes. Like, just oh. the way that things are, are happening in yes. this. Yes. So yes. If, you, if you like the concept of that, please check, check this one out. Yeah. And I think that's the thing. Like, Rom could have all, like all the capacity of being like a, a Saturday morning cartoon, yeah. which is very like redundant 
to a big degree. Yeah. So they're they're setting up huge stakes yeah. that just yeah. works. Yeah. I love the subtle little nod to Transformers. Yeah, Did you catch yeah. that? Yeah. That was nice little. <laughs> Um, they're building a fun little world yeah. here. IDW is, is they're on to something right now. Like they yeah. literally are owning Saturday morning cartoons yeah. and it's legit. Yeah. Same world, same yeah. universe. And it's not not just a hey we got the license right to ROM, let's let's put out a, a book. It's right. effort that's being put in and it's very cool. Weave it into the entire thing. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. They, there's a nice little preview for Revolution in the back. Yeah. That's so here pretty pretty soon. I'm I'm excited about that. That's like me taking all my toys, dumping them out on the floor, and like, yes, this is the greatest crossover before I even knew what a crossover was. Yeah. But this is the greatest crossover event ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks, it, it, I'm excited for Revolution. <laughs> They're also, IDW is offering, for retailers that are watching, offering different discounts and returnability packages. Really? If you order X amount of the different Revolution books, so no risk. No risk. Yeah. Come on, man. Pure reward. Um, again, I'm going to maintain, if you guys really want to do this right, start selling little packets of toys. They don't have to be like, super articulate just give me something that i can give a book to a kid and a toy and be like now continue the adventure yeah and the imagination just goes boom yeah boom That's sorry i was like go bots yeah i had go bots they're the kmart of transformers it <laughs> works <laughs> shout out to kevin smith um yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> detective comics yes 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 tinian is killing it on this book it's the book I didn't know I needed, but I absolutely yeah. do in my life. Yeah. Now, okay, I am a hair younger than you. Yes. Belated happy birthday, by the way. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> Belated happy birthday. Ryan's birthday was last Thursday. I am older. <laughs> than you were last show. Yeah. Um, and you're even older now. Oh, yeah. uh, Shelby with the zingus. That, that unchangeable march towards bow. the grave. <laughs> <laughs> wow, let's go on the happier side. Come on. <laughs> now, me growing up in you know eighties, nineties, mm -hmm. I can admit that my Robin is in fact Tim Drake. Yeah. Perhaps not your Robin. Right. I but mean, it's generational. Now. Yes. Um, this is why this is my Robin. Okay. Yeah. This guy. This dude. Yeah. And Barros is killing it on the artwork. I mean, yeah. <sighs> there's nothing wrong with this book. No. Like if I wanted to find something wrong, I can't right now. I, seriously. The, the action's there. The story is there. The interactions between the characters are very real to who they yes. are. Yes, they like are. Batman doing Batman stuff. That phone call. Oh, my. But see, that's the thing. Batman is not the star. Yeah, he's not. That's the thing that makes this so cool. Red Robin is. Yeah, yeah. Like, I would, I would watch this as a show if if some iteration of Gotham jumps ahead like if we go from you know the build up build up build up to all of a sudden everything 20 years later yeah. we're full fledged bat lore yeah and this was the show I'd watch it'd be it. amazing I'd watch it just it's it's Avengers it's X-Men it's Justice League but it's just the bat family it's Woven so together well done. so good <sighs> yeah must read secondary shout out yay for Clayface yes love it dude that dude is a hero. He's, he had the solution. It's so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. He's so squishy. <laughs> I mean, you just love him. Yeah. Um, wow. Like, really good books, man. I'm, I'm a little torn on what I would pick as book of the week. Yeah. I'm mean, a little torn. The one that's hedging it out for me, though, might definitely have to be Detective. It's Yeah, it's definitely up there. I, I might go Rom, and that's just because I'm that little bit older, so I remember Rom the it's a, during that his first initial thing. That is fair, and it is tucking right. on the heartstrings. Generational, like you said. Yeah. Boom, boom. Um, and now, for the honorable mention. So we've got some interesting yeah. honorable mentions. I took on two that were part of our recommended reading yes. list. Um, and we did the same with Destro, yeah. but then you did something else. Yeah, I went Dark Horsey. Oh! I went Scary, kind of. I mean... Okay. Yeah. Van Lente. Okay. It is. This is about issue three. This story is really, really cool. All right, here, here, let's let's preface it. If you're a fan of Lovecraftian horror, okay. I love it. Uh, it's a detective. We're, we're far enough in that this doesn't boil anything. Uh, there's a detective uh, that's trying to solve creepy occultish type crimes. Okay. Uh, but it's a human body. But it is an alien entity that is in his body. Mm. That's like running everything. Oh, it's, it's just, it's amazing. It's disgusting. Um, it, it's yeah, it's it's like NYPD Blue if Lovecraft wrote it. Oh, would maybe be a way to put it. 
I would watch that show as well. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's pretty yeah. solid. It's only an issue three. It's Dark Horse, so if your shop doesn't have it, they could probably reorder it pretty, Absolutely. pretty easily for you. So I dig that. I dig that. That's a good move. That's a good move. Um, I took on uh, Rebirth Titans number two. Now, I hadn't been following this at all. You know, sometimes I like to challenge myself um, and readers too, because I mean, sometimes you, you don't get number one. Yeah. You know, you just got to jump in and see where you go. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> We're dealing with uh, a classic, classic Flash villain here, um, and there's a lot that feels like those those fun comics of the '90s. Like okay. the, the yeah. action is is big, and you know the the story is is picking up, and you're you're having fun. Like that's the thing. It's it's not about it being like this mind blowing thing. It's it's about having fun. Yeah, and then just going along with the ride. This was a really good read. I really appreciate this one being recommended. Um, I wouldn't have picked it up otherwise. Well, the the new Fifty Two run of yeah. Titans, it exists, right? Yeah. That's kind of where it is. But yeah. this one, it's actually really good. Brett yeah. Booth on the artwork, like, dude, it took me it took me back. Like, I, I felt like it was like circa ninety five, ninety six yeah. for me, and I was like, oh, oh, he still got it. Yeah. He still got it, baby. Yeah, yeah. Anybody that's still on the fence, because there's probably three of you. Uh, the, the rebirth stuff is good. It really just, is, it, man. Read it. Suck it up and read it. It's do do yourself that favor. Yeah. Pretty please. Um, last but not least, man. Deathstroke. De- definitely not least. Christopher Priest. Yo. Yeah. Chris. He, he can write. He can write real good story stuff. I mean, the thing that I like though is like I just recently read. Um, his, the first volume of his Black Panther stuff again, right? That's oh. And the way that this split story yeah. has that vibe. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. again, like the way he can chop time and just still make you flow. Yeah. Yeah, because it's very, very cool. There's there's a ton of action. There's a ton of, like, mind games being played. Yes, uh, yes. Yeah, there's yes. a villain in there that I just hate. Like, I just don't <laughs> like, like him. And he kind of gets it, you know, what's coming yeah, to him. Yeah, yeah, he gets it. Gets it good. Mm-hmm. And it's about time. Yeah. <clears throat> just saying. Just saying. Um, artwork is solid. Yeah. Man. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, I never say the artist's name correctly, but I remember like he did a stint on Iron Man yeah. for a while. It was too sweet. I liked muy mucho. Um, I, I might actually keep reading. Yeah. Uh, Deathstroke here because. Deathstroke is one of those characters that I've had like a, a peripheral appreciation. Yeah. I like what he can do, yeah. but I wasn't really on it. Yeah, a lot of times he's mishandled and kind of just like, oh, he's you know, the guest person in this yes. it, story arc. But this, the way Priest is attacking it, it makes him a fleshed out character that has yes. stuff that's in his life that, or, yeah, I, it just. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he's gone through some things, so it kind of makes sense as to where he is, why he yeah. is. He's not, see, I think that's the thing. He's not like this overinflated bad guy. Yeah. This actually gives him some range, yeah, which seeing, I like. Seeing that connection and an anchor to what we would call a normal life, yes, really kind of expands his yes, motive. Yeah, it's, it's just I, I loved it. It's good, it's so good. Um, yeah, add this to my bowl, if you will. We'll do. Thank you, thank you, dude. This is so many good reads this week. Yeah, and I'm kind of excited. We even cut back. From I know. Time. Yeah, we we kind of little diet. You know, yeah. I'm trying to do things. Some people are older and they can't read as much. I don't want to be alive.